Okay, so we've made a fretboard here. We have a fret nut right there. Let's make sure that color is nice and bright so we can see it. Okay. There's a fret nut there, and this is our this is our keyboard, and this is our C box right here. This is not part of the C box, this is part of the A box. As a matter of fact, the tripentatonic A box is, is a pretty big part of this C box already, is over here. Let's okay that color for A. The A box is actually here. So what we've drawn is a duplicate. So the cage ladder has two cage shapes. We've pretty much got our A shape there. If it G is the fifth, we've got five, six, root two, three, five, six, root two, three, five, six. Okay, so we've got five, root three. There's our A shape, C. Okay, here's our C shape, C, which is five root three, five root three, A shape, C. So that's how we turn a pattern into a real fretboard like that. And then it's playable. See it and play it. Okay, I want to take a look at this S5L pattern, stack of five long. And it has, it starts on the G shape, it goes G, D, then to A, then E, and then the C pattern. It's shaped like a seven here. I'll show you that seven there. Let's okay that color. All right. This would be the seven part, and this would be the L part. So you kind of know what's going on with this S5L. Now look at this. There it is. There's our seven, and there's our L shape. Okay? So that's our, our S5L. S5L, which is a 7L shape. It's a generic 7L shape pattern. Alright, so I just want to cover this new pattern, okay? Um, now that we have the string shapes, there's really nothing odd about this. Although, in any 5 string pattern, the 5 is 5 strings, you're going to have a warp over, okay? Where when we're looking at in contrast, when we're looking at an S2L or an S3L, you can't guarantee there's going to be a warp over here. Okay? So with that D shape, I'm going to remove the capo so I can get a low D down here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, root 2. It's pretty much a Dorian minor scale. Or that S2L in the C shape, that's the bottom of the of the uh, C shape. Now, it's interesting because you'd think the bottom of the C of the bottom string of the C shape is going to have a and yes, that's an Andy no no right there. That is wrong. I'm I apologize and we'll fix. We'll fix. Okay, fixed it. This is it. This is was and always will be <laughs> the C shape because it's the bottom string of the C cage, and this is the bottom string of it. So that was just a typo, an Andy typo. So um, this was to be the bottom string of the D cage. Here's the bottom string of the A cage and the bottom string of the E position, whatever you want to call it. So let's look at that. S2L now, there's a darn good chance that's not going to hit the tuning warp. So with the C box here, starting with C, fixed it. <laughs> wow, I'm really sorry. That, that shows you I've been under a little bit of stress lately. Okay, so um, 
there's a good chance it's not going to be warped. In the D shape, it's definitely warped. Let's let's look at uh, we could look at the D shape real quick. Um, we'll choose a different pattern for that so we can get that D shape. Or we'll just we'll just look at a fretboard. Let's look at a fretboard there. Go over to our D shape here. So here you can see with our D shape, we're starting here, and we've got an S three L there. Okay, so we have an S3L in that D-shape right here, which is what we just looked at, that Dorian. And then we have an S2L, but up, oh, look, the 3 isn't under the 6 anymore. It's been warped over. That is characteristic of the D-shape right there. Okay, so the smaller patterns where, where they are reliable to play, you know, for instance, with the A-shape now, the A shape pentatonic, you're going to do a little top part of an S3S, and then you get an S3L there. Right in the middle of an A shape is an S3L, no warping there. So, um, going back to what we were talking about, um, the this S5L, even though it's 7L shaped, is likely going to hit a tuning warp. Okay, so that means either this string, both these guys, any one of these strings could be warped over depending on where you invoke that, that S5L. So let's look at this. This cage ladder is just a double a double uh, string shape ladder. All right, virtual ten strings, so we get everything three to three, six to six, two to two, seven root to seven root, five to five. We got everything. We can make anything here. The first two positions and an S. Let's find our little uh, seven L S five L here. So it's going to start on G. Is the is the uh, the starting point we're going to have this six seven root whole step half step whole step half step you know whole step and then here's our seven so we're looking for our seven right here okay it's a robust seven it has a it has a nice hat on it you know it's not just a thin seven it's got a double seven like that we've got seven and l right there so that's where it's going to start Okay, and yeah, I mean, depending on where we start it, any one of the strings in the S5L pattern can end up being warped over. Any one or two of the strings can end up being warped over. So let's look at, let's look at the pattern itself. So this is your S5L pattern here, okay? This is how it's going to play out. But let's say we're, we happen to be looking at, I don't know, say we want to look at an A shape. All right, so when we look at an A shape, first of all, let's, let's mask out what we're not looking at. We're not looking at what's above the A shape. Okay, now below the A shape, guess what? We're not looking at that either. So what does that mean? That means we're only going to use part of that pattern. So now our, our pattern, sorry, our pattern is going to start there, right? I guess we were about that, that many clicks out here. Wow. Sorry about that. I think that's where we are. At least the click has a good memory. Okay, so now where was our pattern is the question. This is our fretboard here, but remember the pattern only goes up to the three here. So it, it didn't go back exactly where we wanted it to go, did it? Sorry about that. That, that was a little little uh, wheel o, you know, typo, wheel o, whatever. But this is what's left of the uh, S5L pattern, just the top three. And here's the, you know,